Greetings and welcome to the RC Wall of Vacuum channel. In a previous video I installed some energy tracks onto this Lozy 5T and I had to tweak some of their, their components to uh, get it to fit and uh, add some extra fasteners and stuff in there. But as I got done with it, I realized there was going to be an issue with the body where either I was going to have to put hub extenders on there or vastly modify the body to do any kind of jumps with the thing. So that brought me to this idea which is the 450 XLT, which is already a nice wide vehicle and um, no hub extenders and there will be plenty of room for any kind of jumping and stuff like that or you know, movement of the A-arms. And uh, then I got thinking too that uh, I'm going to have a GoPro integrated down in, in a mount into here. So this will actually be a really cool POV type uh, vehicle to go out in the woods and videotape uh, you know, during snowstorms or whatever the case may be. And uh, the... Uh, so the, and the nice thing about it, anything that was done on that uh, modify the parts for the fit the 450 or the fit the Losi 5T 2.0 uh, ported right over to this fine. But one thing I, I still don't like on this is the angle of attack on these tracks seem to be reverse. Um, but I'm going to try to like I think I mentioned in a previous video I'm going to try to make the the arm that sits down in there and attaches that anti uh, rotation to, uh, shock. I'm going to try to link that out to drop them down. But what I'm basing the, that theory on is out here. I have a Players Ranger that uh, has tracks on. And these are definitely a different configuration. It's tough to see them up here. But the front's got the tilt up. The back here is flat. And the hub is kind of reversed on how those Robins are. But I still I think if I just uh, we'll test it out how it is and uh, depending on how that works. I'll take in um, either lengthen that piece or uh, that's probably, I guess that's probably all I would do is just try to lengthen that piece. I don't really know what else to do. It's probably fine as is, but uh, I would like to get a little more surface. You know, the issue too is you'd think to be tilted up more in the front because that's a lot less surface you're going to you gotta spin with your servos. And there's definitely something you, when you fire this thing up, you want to have the front end up off the air or up in the air to uh, so the servo ain't trying to struggle. And move that when it's there's uh the vehicle's not moving forward even still i'm sure it's going to give the servos a workout but uh it's kind of a uh mad max meets the tundra i guess thanks for watching